What if we are constantly being programmed by the system and especially the one eye clan, the guys who often are lo love to show you their symbolism in uh, you know, entertainment, for example, industry and things like that. What if we are being programmed to act and behave in specific ways and through this process we create reality or version of reality that is not beneficial for us but benefits these guys for example hmm? think about that hello 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 this is mike sigla from truthfeed.com and welcome to another video so today we're going to talk about simulation hypothesis or simulation theory and uh, I have some strong views on this topic, but the topic is quite complex. So definitely there's going to be more videos where I'm going to explain more details and some of my ideas about it. But let's, let's talk about something slightly different today. So, you know, for the last 10 or 15 years, we've been hearing quite a lot about the simulation theory or hypothesis. People like Elon Musk, for example, mention this quite often. So what is the simulation theory or the idea? Basically, if you look at, for example, the progress that we made with computers or video games, and if you look at how things looked like in the 80s, where you had uh, simple games like Pac-Man or some Pong or whatever, and you look at the video games now, which resemble the real world more and more if we would just look at the progress based on any trajectory like for example the way it was evolving so far the next 20 years video games would be indistinguishable from reality for example right so there is this idea what if maybe it happened before and maybe everything is a simulation some kind of computer simulation so this is kind of a very vague way to think about this concept. They have slightly different ways of looking at it, but basically this is the idea, more or less, that maybe the world we experience is a simulation of some sort. You know, we know that our senses and our minds decode reality in a subjective way and that different animals, for example, different species, they decode reality differently, they can have senses developed differently, they can see different colors, they can sense fields, things like that. Um, so, you know, everything is a little bit different for us, right? We're definitely not interacting with objective reality, but we perceive reality in subjective ways, right? So, you know, my way of looking at this whole idea is that I'm a you know, guy who supports this idea that everything is mind, everything is consciousness, and reality is just a projection of collective mind, right? So same way like you can have a dream and you can create the whole world in your mind when you have a dream or when you try to imagine something, the same happens here and this whole reality is just a projection of collective mind and we are all just fragments of that whole mind and this is obviously knowledge known for thousands of years and people who sometimes do psychedelics can experience that when you know you are not in your body anymore you become part of everything else so to me this is pretty obvious how how it works but i know mainstream science still they keep looking for consciousness in the brain probably gonna take them some time but let's assume that this is the case. So let's assume that the whole reality is a projection of collective mind and we all, in a way, create reality together. So what happens if we are the creators of reality, right? What happens there if the act of observation is literally linked to creation of reality, same way like with your imagination, same way like in your dream world, right? Where you are the creator of the world. What if this is happening here on the big scale? 
let's assume that this is the case. Now, what happens when society is being constantly programmed with different types of programming from all the different programming channels, you know, <laughs> entertainment industry, teachers, mainstream media, television, news, everything. The whole system is programming how people should behave. What if we are constantly being programmed by the system and especially the one eye clan, the guys who often are love to show you their symbolism in uh, you know entertainment for example industry and things like that what if we are being programmed to act and behave in specific ways and through this process we create reality or version of reality that is not beneficial for us but benefits these guys for example hmm? think about that think about what kind of programming we get here all the time fear mongering right live in fear you know you watch tv you watch news it's just negativity all the time all the time drama all the time like be scared oh this is the new pandemic the new thing the conflict the terrorist blah blah blah, blah. constantly just bombarding you with some bs to make you feel scared and you know <laughs> hide under the table basically when in fact most of these things do not affect us on individual level yeah maybe they happen somewhere on the other side of the world but you know it's probably not affecting you so much or, or is definitely blown out of proportions most of the time so there is constantly fear-mongering right constantly like divide and conquer you go on Facebook or social media what do you see just people arguing over one thing or the other left versus right Whatever transphobia, you know, be social issues and things like that. So there is a constant programming that basically seems to be all about just keeping you in low vibration, in fear, angry, argue with fellow human beings, you know, hate someone for their beliefs, blah, 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 right? Hmm. Sounds familiar? <laughs> Can we see it somewhere around? Yeah, I think we can see it all the time everywhere where you look, right? So this is interesting why this is always the case, right? Then what else? What other programs we get? Hmm? You know, another one is just like be selfish, hedonistic behavior, you know, just focus on entertainment or like lavish lifestyle, things like that. That's another program that we see a lot like Kardashians famous for no reason <laughs> just be a narcissist basically keep taking selfies in the toilet whole day book about selfies i think kim kardashian saw something like that so basically you know it's always like celebrities that try to promote some kind of lavish lifestyle ego-based behavior you know narcissistic behavior materialism you know if you look at hip hop for example is always like money 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 and treat women like da, 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 and all this kind of stuff so it's always negativity or fear mongering or some kind of junk entertainment and things like that right like everything is either like keeping people in low vibration negative sad depressed you know scared or just like act in ways that are uh, unethical, destructive, uh, hedonistic, self-centered, and this kind of stuff, right? This is the programming. Everywhere, all the time, that's what you observe. Everywhere you look, most of the time. And everything that is really important, it's always like hidden, people find it funny, or it's not getting attention, or whatever. So what if this is done by design? Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe by the system let's call it or the one eye puppets that seem to be popping up everywhere especially in the entertainment industry what if this is done by design because we co-create reality collectively together and they want us to create a version of reality through our you know focus our intentions our behavior 
etc. in participation. So we end up in a version of reality that do not benefit us, but benefit the system or these guys. Think about that. Think about what such behavior creates. Fear mongering, you know, materialism, just constantly being this consumer slave, just constantly brainwashing you with keep buying more goods, more goods, so nature can be destroyed, life force can be sacked from Mother Earth, you know, all in the name of ego. What kind of reality we start creating from that level? Division, right? Instead of working together in harmony, taking care of Earth, taking care of ourselves, having love towards others. No, we create the opposite. Think about yourself, you know? Success means be selfish, right? This is the success today, definition of success. The more you accumulate stuff that comes from Mother Earth, where life is being destroyed as a result, that means success, right? So what kind of reality we start creating from that? We, we start creating fake synthetic reality because we are moving more and more into technology, you know, people start spending more and more time in fake worlds, you know, social media, uh, scrolling stuff all the time, attached to their screens whole day. And bit by bit, we are building a new version of reality where all the tech moguls and scientists and futurists tell you that soon you're gonna be running with a chip in your body, <laughs> in your head or whatever. That's the version of reality that we are building bit by bit because we participate in this system, because we support this system, and because we focus on exactly the things I've been talking about. So maybe, maybe this is all by design, and we create this synthetic version of reality bit by bit, which sooner or later gonna enslave us, because once this, if this gonna go this path, that's really dangerous. I made a video explaining exactly how dangerous transhumanism is. This is what I'm talking about here. So have a look at this video. And you know, this is the idea. So basically we act from ego where we desire more and more and more for ourselves. This creates behavior in society that is selfish, that supports and creates now synthetic world, which is slowly developing and moving and, and soon it's gonna take over everything we do. I mean, I hope it's not gonna happen because people are gonna wake up. That's why I'm making these kind of videos to, to warn people because I've been studying it for many years and I think I understand it, where it's going, where it's heading. So I hope people are gonna wake up, but you know, this is where things might develop if not enough people are gonna start paying attention and seeing where we are heading with this stuff. So solutions are, basically just working on ourselves as much as we can support less if you can unethical corporations do your research vote with your dollars support these activists that are struggling and getting censored by big tech hmm? help others because to destroy the negative path all we have to do is start changing ourselves, reduce our dependency on the system as much as we can, support small businesses, you know, help others. And basically these things then start shifting. We're rearranging the dream. We are shifting the simulation, basically. This is the idea here. It's all up to us which way the simulation is going to unfold, let's say, because we are the creators of that simulation it's not really simulation but it's like a dream that we create and if we are being programmed to act in specific ways then the version of the dream is being created in those specific ways that the programmers want us to to do so we need to start acting in a different way i don't know, hope this makes some sense or not i don't know let me know in the comments if the video resonates please give it a like please <laughs> share it on social media if you can let me know what you think about it in the comments um, follow me on instagram it's mike saigula on instagram as well i'm being more and more active there these days 
And uh, yeah, this whole thing with the simulation, I, I have a quite complex understanding and a theory about it, but this is a, for a different video, you know. Here I just want to talk about this way where this can unfold. So please let me know what you think about this video in the comments and share the video if you can. Subscribe here if you are new here, you know, you can click the bell button to get notified when new content appears. And thank you so much for watching my funny face. <laughs> Thanks for listening to this guy, what he had to say. I'm proud of you. You made it all to the end of the video. That's good. That means you're listening. Thank you. Check out my other videos because I talk a lot about these types of things. So till next time.